Hi, hope you are well. In this video, we want to solve AMC 12B 2021 American Mathematics Competitions. So, in this problem, we want to consider the ideas. Before solving the problem, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification for having next videos. Okay, so let's read the problem 21. Let S be the sum of all positive real numbers x for which x to the power of 2 to the power of root 2 equal to root 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so we should simplify this equation. When you have x to the power x in the power like here, we should do what? The idea. It's idea. Yes, we should take log from both sides. So, here we should take log in what base? Exactly, root 2. But, <clears throat> do you agree 2 is simpler than root 2? Of course. So, what should we do? We should change it to 2 to the power of something. Okay, so root 2 is what? 2 to the power of 1 over 2, 2 to the power of x. And we multiply 1 over 2, 2 to the power of x. It will be 2 to the power of x over 2, which will be 2 to the power of x minus 1. Okay, now we are ready to take log in base 2 because it is 2 to the power of something. So, if we take log in base 2, this idea is so much useful. Log in base 2, it will be what? The left side will be x to the power of 2 root 2. 2 and uh, 2 to the power of root 2 because there are three powers equal to if I write log in base 2 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus so at first let me tell you something about logarithm okay always memorize this definition it helps you a lot this sentence you can imagine Log a in base b is the number that if you raise b to the power of that, it will be a. So b to the power of that. For example, like what? It is 8. It's a number that if you raise 2 to the power of that, it is 8. 2 to the power of what is 8? 3. Yes, exactly. For example, like root 2 in base 2. It's a number 2 to the power of that will be root 2. 2 to the power of what is root 2? 1 over 2, exactly. Now here, we want to use these things, but before that, I should tell you two important rules in logarithms. The first one is log a to the power of m in base b is m times log a base b. Second rule, log a, for example, C in base B equal to log A in base B plus log C in base B. Now we want to use that. At first here, we should apply what? We should apply 1 because it is A to the power of M. Here, our M is this. So it will be 2 to the power of root 2 log X base 2 and this one. Here it is our m, our power like this. So you can take it outside. 2 log 2 in base 2. Now we will use our famous sentence. This number is a number that if you raise 2 to the power of that, it will be 2. 2 to the power of what is 2? 1. So it will be 1. And you can say 2x minus 1 times 1 is 2 to the power of x minus 1. Now. Here again, as you can see, again, we have x in the power. So we should do what? Exactly. We should take logarithm again. And it will be what? Log 2 in base 2 from both sides. x2. And this part, it will be log 2x minus 1 in base 2. Again, for right side. Right hand side, we use our sentence. It's a no the number that if you raise 2 to the power of that, you will reach 2 to the power of x minus 1. 2 to the power of what is 2 to the power of x minus 1? Exactly, x minus 1. Now, for this one, we want to use what? Our second rule. 
with our second way, second rule, we say, okay, it is this times this. So it will be log 2 root 2 in base 2 plus exactly like this, log 2 log x in base 2 equal to x minus 1. Now, here, we want to find this. Again, we use our sentence. It's a number that if you raise 2 to the power of that, we will reach 2 to the power of root 2. 2 to the power of what? Okay, here, 2 to the power of what is 2 root 2? Exactly, root 2. So if we take it to right-hand side, then we will have log base 2, x2 equal to x minus root 2 minus 1. Now, again, another important idea that you can use in Amy next level of American Math Olympiad, in Philippine Math Olympiad, in many UK you can use. When you have two things, you can draw approximately these two functions. So, if you consider left side, if you replace x with 1, it will be 0 and it will be vertical asymptote. And if you replace it is 1, if you replace x with 2, 2 it will be 1 and log 1 in base 2 so it will be what if x is 2 log log 2 2 2 here it will be 1 and 2 to the power of what is 1 the famous sentence it will be what it will be 0 okay so for 2 we have 0 so our function is approximately you don't need to draw it completely right it will be something like this okay and now so when we consider two for example for x1 we said okay it is asymptote for x2 we said this is one for x2 if we uh -huh. and also if we consider we want to see what are the important numbers that we should check if we want to check we say okay one is asymptote and for zero for zero right side we have the uh, right side is a line if you replace x with 0, it will be negative root 2 minus 1. It will be some point here. Let me extend. Okay, we know it passes through this point. And, okay, our point that in log is good because we have base 2. 2 is good we've replaced. And, for example, 3, 4 if you write. 4 is good to check. 2 is good to check. We've checked 1. Root 2 is also good to check. If x is root 2, left side will be what? Log 2, log root 2 in base 2. It will be what? 2 to the power of what is root 2? 1 over 2. 2 to the power of what? The famous sentence. 2 to the power of what is 1 over 2? Negative 1. So left side is negative 1. If you replace right side with root 2, root 2, negative root 2, cancel, negative 1. Okay, so root 2 is a good place because these two uh, functions have intersection okay we found one root that it was what root 2 now we want to find second root that it's like this so how we can find this and also we want to understand the look growth of this is line is greater than logarithm now, if we want to even find this answer, the next number we should check is 4. If we check 4 in both sides, then let's see what we have. Okay, I replace x with 4. 2 to the power of what is 4? 2. 2 to the power of what is 2? 1. This part is 1. If you replace x with 4 here, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus root 2. It is greater than 1. So for 4, we understand our line is greater than this. And you can see, for example, for after 2, a little after 2, this one is positive. Or for 2, it is greater than this. If we check for 2, the left side is what? If we replace with 2, it will be what? It will be 0. If you replace here 2, it will be negative root 2. So in this case, this curve is on top of the pink one in this one in this case black one logarithm is on the bottom of the pink one line 
So it we found these two roots. One of them, let me call this one alpha. Alpha is between two and four. So we say alpha is between two and four. And the other root is root two. So if we add these two roots, S. Alpha plus root two, which is S, is less than four plus root two and greater than two plus root two. Okay, so let's see the choices. S is less than root two, wrong, because it is greater than that. S equal to root two, wrong. S greater than root two, less than two, wrong, because it is greater than two plus root two, right? S greater than two, okay, we know we, we can say it's greater than equal to less than six is greater than two also you can write greater than equal to is not wrong so d is correct let's also check e e says s is greater than six but we proved s is less than six okay so we proved this problem completely i will release other videos and other ideas step by step we want to learn the ideas for example here taking log from both sides working with them and the necessary idea you need in each problem so please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification thanks for watching my videos and for your support bye